Aside 50 years in the making, humanity is returning to the moon for unfinished business. Looking over there, that's an amazing feeling. They are so fired up that we are headed back to the moon. We're off to a little bit of a of a slow start here. Inching into position at just 1.5 kilometres an hour, when it launches, NASA's most powerful rocket yet will reach speeds of 40,000 kilometres an hour just eight minutes after liftoff. And liftoff of Artemis 1. After a successful uncrewed launch of the rocket three years ago, Artemis 2 will slingshot the astronauts around the moon in a so-called free return. Roger. Unlike the Apollo missions, though, that's one small step for man. They won't be landing on the surface. Instead, the crew of four will orbit the moon to lay the groundwork for a mission to the surface in 2028 or later. Artemis 2 is a test flight. It truly is exploration. There will be a number of firsts um, that will be proving out on this flight. The 10-day round trip will blast off from the Kennedy Space Center, traveling 1.1 million kilometers to the moon and back. And for the first time, a female astronaut will be in the spacecraft to see the lunar surface up close. I think that astronauts are the calmest people on launch day. It feels that way because we're just so ready to fulfill the mission that we came here to do. The Apollo 17 mission in 1972 was the last time humankind visited the moon. America's astronauts again say hello to the moon. But it's hoped Artemis will begin a new generation of frequent space flight to the moon, Mars and beyond. Kathleen Calderwood, ABC News.